Okay, welcome to day 19. Now this one is kind of crazy. I was like, shadow. Oh my goodness. So I have a 10 year old son who loves to do cartooning. He loves to do cartooning. And so one of the things that he's learning about cartooning is to say he has an object. He's learning how to create shadow on the item. So if the light is coming, you know, where is it going to hit? Is it going to hit on this side or on the other side? So I really want to see what you would come up with shadow. Now, one of the things I think about shadow, of course, is light and dark. I also think when you're walking in a, on down the road, you see your shadow and you are this person, but then your shadow is like this person, right? Depending on the time of day, that's the projection that you see. So even this idea of one side, light and dark, and the smaller to larger, those two concepts of shadow, like does that not just like encourage you to have so many new or different ideas? You're like, oh my goodness. So one of the things that I want to encourage you when we're doing this doodle challenge is that I want you to learn how to mix elements together. You're like, what? Mix elements? What are you talking about, Dara? So an element is a design. So a circle, a square, a triangle, uh, cross hatching, scribbling, fillers, all of those are different elements. Repeating something, that's an element. So even in here, I could repeat and then I could add. So if I wanted, I could come back in here and then I could come and I could repeat that same shape. And I could repeat it. And I could actually do this concept. So I can just repeat. So it's becoming a shadow in a different way, right? I've actually never done this with thread, but I'm thinking this looks pretty cool. I'm like excited to try out this like scribbling shadowy thing. Okay, so then now I have this concept. So I've had two, I have two, three elements. I have one is the shape, the almond shape. I have the shadowing, it's another element. And then I have some repeats. Now if I wanted to, I could actually come in here and in this open space, I'm going to create a new area here. So let's say I come in here and then I do a cross, a loopy cross. And I don't know what to, and then I want to do another loopy cross. That looks kind of cool. And then maybe I want to do some clamshell or just like a partial clamshell. If I can't get that angle right coming down from it, because that's the other thing, we're drawing from different angles. Hey, that looks pretty neat. So I have like a clamshell, but then I extend the clamshell to the point. So that's still a clamshell, I've just elongated it. So now what's happening is that I am shadowing uh, different designs, like back, like even that's the other part. If I split it in half, one side shadow of the other. And I'm also adding different design elements. So then I could then choose, do I want to reproduce this design in these two other spaces? It's totally my choice. And so Today's challenge, of course, is shadows, so different ideas, but also I do want you to think about how to mix elements. And so in this lesson in particular, you are taking a new shape, for example, here, and then you're going to repeat it. And then, yeah, okay, you can do it like that. So even I just created that differently but then you're mixing these design elements. And remember, one of the best tips that I ever learned about doodling uh, was from Angela Walters when she said, when in doubt, just repeat. And that process of repetition is helping your brain also uh, to know what to do next. And traveling, when we're going from one design, when we're mixing elements, traveling is through repeating. And it's through that repeating of that same design to get you, excuse me, to where you wanna go. So that's something really important to consider. All right, you guys, shadow, what you got for me? Share, Dara, doodle challenge, and I can't wait to see you for day 20.